gentlemen of the press, uh, good evening. This evening, the leadership of our party has visited one of our leaders to have a family meeting. We met, we discussed like a family, and you will hear the outcome of that discussion from our leader, the national chairman of the party, and our friend everything himself. But let it be known to all our sundry that we are united, we are together. FFK is still in PDP, we will continue to be in PDP, we will continue to work for PDP because he think PDP, he talk PDP, he work PDP, and PDP is everything that is in the system. Thank you very much. Members of the press, let me just say that uh, I'm delighted and I'm honored at the fact that the national chairman and the whole of the National Working Committee, together with the chairman of the PDP Ministers Forum, our leader, and all the stakeholders of this party who may not be here but made appeals and asked them to come, and um, they came to my home to reach out to me and speak with me. And we had a very extensive and fruitful meeting. And I want to say here and now that whatever issues there may have been have been resolved. We're moving forward as one. I never left the PDP. I'm in the PDP, and I'm proud to be here. Whatever the case might be, whatever's happening in this country, the most important thing for us to do is to build bridges across party lines, across regional, ethnic, and religious lines in order to ensure that we actually have a country um, that we can call our own. But I'm delighted that they've come. And um, I'm touched to the very heart. And um, this is how it ought to be in any family, any political family. If anybody feels in any way estranged or in any way hurt, people are meant to reach out. And this is an example of the good quality leadership the national chairman and his working committee have provided for this party. And I can assure you, I can say this to you right now. Had it not been for this quality of leadership over the last few years and months, our party would have fallen apart. They have gone all over the country, reaching out to people, keeping us together, saving our party when our party was almost taken from us. And they came in and they've done a very, very good job. And I'm very proud of them. I'm proud of our national chairman each and every one of the National Working Committee of Kola over there, and of course with my friend and brother, uh, the, the chairman of our of PDP Ministers Forum. So I'm here, I'm delighted to be here, and uh, as they say, the struggle continues. Thank you very much indeed. Thank you. FFK, my brother and friend, we're happy and glad to be here in this residence. The reception was superb. We entered into uh, a short meeting, and it was very fruitful. Uh, FFK is, is known, well-known voice in Nigeria. In fact, it's a brand, and of course, some of us we know his pedigree. Uh, it's a replica of the father. It's a man of his words. Uh, we, on this note, want to advise. Uh, our brothers on the other side, especially some of these governors, the leaders of this, that they should face the business of governance. They're jumping around and looking for critical stakeholders of our party uh, to push will not resolve the issue of security or economy. And they are aware that security has broken down, economy has broken down, they should face it, that, that, that business which they were elected. I believe that this country belongs to all of us and we need the unity of this country to move this country forward. Our brother is firm and a man of his word. There is no amount of trick that will make him swear otherwise. He is firmly with PDP and we are back to business. While we prepare for 223, the most important thing the country must be won and the APC government headed by Buhari should resolve the issue of insecurity. Thank you and God bless.